this is gonna be my weekly makeup basket. If you've never seen one of these videos before, I've just went through my makeup. I've kind of picked out some things that I wanna wear for this coming week, and I'm just gonna show them to you in the order that I would apply them to my face. I think this is probably gonna be the last week that I'm allowed to have some sort of free reign in my makeup collection, so I pulled some things that I haven't played with for a little bit. So starting off, I have this foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I have shade Shell, which is 1C1. I feel like this is almost a bit tacky. You can definitely feel it on your skin, which I'm not used to. So I don't know, just playing around with this. I might try and mix it in with a little bit of moisturizer to see if that helps it out a bit this week. For my concealer, I decided to pull out some of my sample concealers. So this is from, who is this from? Amazing Cosmetics, Amazing Concealer Face Map. So I was thinking maybe the Fair Golden or medium beige, one of these two would probably work well with my skin. So there's just some sample pods in there, but I guarantee it'll probably last me the whole week with one or both of those. So for my powder, I generally try and use a pressed powder that has a little bit of color to it, but I decided to pull out a translucent one this week. So this is the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. And I think I'm about halfway finished up with this. It would be awesome if I could finish this up before the end of the year since I've had this around for probably, it's coming up on two years, I would say, at least. So anyway, there's that. And I have my bronzer this week. It's gonna be the NARS Laguna. Again, I really love this bronzer. That is it right there. I have this around the perimeter of my face. Oh, and by the way, everything that I'm talking about is on my face today. So there is a swatch of it right there on my hand. I really like how natural this looks. I was really scared of this bronzer for the longest time because I thought it would be way too dark for my skin tone, but I think with the light hand, it, it looks just fine. So there's that. For my blush, I have two of them as usual. I have my NYX blush that's in the Finish 4 by 4th of July, and that is in the shade Angel. Let me give you a little swatch of this. I put this one at the front of my cheeks, and then I have a different blush towards the back of my cheek. So that is Angel right there. It's very light. It has a slight sheen to it. It's really easy to wear. Um, I'm mixing it with the Benefit Hervana blush. I love this blush. There's something, just something about this blush. I absolutely love it. So that is Hervana right there. It has about four different colors and you swirl your brush in there and it kind of creates this really pretty pinky purple sort of shade. And depending on where you pinpoint your brush, you could have more purple, more pink. So there is a swatch of Hervana right there. And I have both of these on my cheeks today. For my highlighter, I kind of wanted something a little bit neutral that would go with the looks that I was planning to do with my eyes. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. This has the most beautiful kind of colored swirls in the powder. You can see there, there's like yellow and purple and pink and even blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that is it right there. If you can kind of see the light hitting on it. And like I said, it's on my, like my cheekbones, under the eyebrows kind of thing, so. It's kind of subtle, but it does have a sort of opalescent glow to it, I feel like. For my eyes, I have two bases this week. One of them is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pure Nude, which is, you know, it's about the same shade as the highlight, just kind of a creamy champagne color. And then the other one is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This one's an orchid. I put this one underneath the bottom lash line at the outer corner a little bit. And I just thought it would bring out some of the purples in my eyeshadows. So there is a swatch of it right there. These caviar sticks are so versatile. You can put them in the waterline. They stay in the waterline. You can wear them as a cream base. So you put it all, the, all over on your lid, kind of blend it out a little bit. You could put dry eyeshadows over the top. You could just run this into the crease area. They're, they're just amazing. So... That is it right there. And you have about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds to kind of 
blend them out, put them where you want them to go. They blend beautifully with like a crease brush, but that is Orchid right there. So like I said, I do have that underneath the bottom lash line just a little bit to bring out the purple in my eye look. For my eyeshadows, I have two palettes, kind of. <laughs> I have my Lorac Pro, since I'm trying to finish this off this year, and I also decided to toss some of my MAC eyeshadows into my little quad here. And this week, because I'm going to be using light pink, mauve, pewter, and slate, specifically out of my Lorac Pro palette. So I have Naked Lunch right here. Let me give you let me give you some swatches. This this one right here, this is Naked Lunch and there is a swatch of Naked Lunch. It just it's like a champagne color, but it has a slight pink shade to it, just a little bit of pink. And then this guy right here, this is Shale. And that is shell right there. It's a kind of muted gray purple with a little bit of a sheen to it. This one up here, this is Quarry, and that is it right there. I really like this one as a transition shade, or sometimes I just wear this one all alone in the crease. And then this bright purple that is nocturnal. So for my I eyeliners, I have a couple nude ones. So this one has, it's a nude one, but it has a little bit of a pinky shimmer. This is the Visanti Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. And I usually put this one at the inner corner of my eye. That is it right there. I just have a little bit of this left. I would, <laughs> I would sure like to finish this off. And then for the waterline, if I wanted nude in the waterline, I have the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Liner in nude. And you can't really see it when I do a swatch of it, so I won't do that. For black liner, I also have two of them because I've been putting my Jordana one down first. It has a felt tip at the end here. That is the Jordana eyeliner in black. Um, it makes doing the outside wing really easy, but since they've done whatever they've done to these Jordana liners, they're not as black as they used to be, so I have to go over the Jordana liner with a black eyeliner. So I pulled out the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in blacker, and it's just a really dark jet black liner. And if I wanted to, I could put this one in the waterline. It does tend to flake off little teeny pieces, and they, it gets into my eyes, and it makes it it's extremely irritated. But it's very, very black, and running this over the top of the Jordana one really keeps everything in place. So my Benefit Their Real Mascara, I put this one down first. That is the wand on it there. It's a little pokey. You have to kind of be careful and slow down with your application when you use this mascara. And then over the top of that, I have the YSL mascara, the Effet Faux Seal Mascara in what is this, number one, just the black one. I can't remember what it's called specifically, but it actually has a microfiber wand. So the brushes, the wands are completely opposite. The benefit they're real is really pokey and hard and scratchy, and this one's super soft, but this one is starting to dry out quite a bit. I have to wipe off the wand a lot before I can go over the benefit mascara, and I don't know, they seem to be a nice pair. So that's just what I've been using for the past couple days. And then for my brows, I got this in my Ipsy bag. Spoiler alert, I know. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. A little spooly on the one side and this other side, it's in Universal Taupe, that's the shade. There is a swatch of Universal Taupe. While it doesn't really look like it on the back of my hand, it does have a hint of red to it. I have it in the eyebrows today. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, to be honest, because I feel like it's not as taupey. There's some warmth to it, which I wasn't expecting. Over so. the top of that, I'm using my little mini size of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this stuff. For my lipsticks, I have a couple different options here. So I have the MAC lipstick in Please Me. This is a matte. Let me give you a quick swatch of that. It's like a mid-tone pink. has a little bit of red to it. That's it right there. The other option I have is the Bite Beauty lipstick in Vouvray. I really like this one. This is what's on my lips right now. 
probably worn off just a little bit. This is like, it's kind of like the exact same thing as Please Me, only a, like a sheer version of it. So that is it right there. And obviously it's not matte, but the other one, if I wanted a nude option, I have the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in 181 Sheer Linen. I really like these. They're really easy to get through if you're trying to pan one or something. But this is just a really nice, easy shade. So that is Sheer Linen right there. I really like this. It's quite moisturizing on the lips too. So there's the lipsticks. If I wanted a gloss, I decided to go a little bit out of my comfort zone. I pulled a coral <laughs> lip gloss, but it's sheer enough to where I think I could put it over, you know, any of these lipsticks, to be honest. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. That is Apple Strudel on the bottom. You can see there, like it's a coral, but it's quite sheer, so I definitely think it would go over any of those if I wanted it to. I was wearing it earlier this morning, so anyway, that is the makeup for my perfume. I always like to keep a little something in my purse, whether it's an atomizer or a little mini perfume sample or a rollerball. So this week, I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani C little mini sample. Again, it'll probably be finished off this week. And my main perfume for this week, it's gonna actually be a knockoff perfume since this, it was on sale when I got it. It was a buy one, get one free. This is the Perfect Sense Fragrances. I think this was from CVS. It's their impression of Donna Karen's Be Delicious perfume. So I don't have that much left. I'm all the way down to here. So I think if I just use this for a couple weeks or used it randomly, I could probably have this finished off by the end of the month. So anyway, that is it. That is all the makeup and fragrances that I'm going to be wearing for this week. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.